Good morning! Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I'm starting the vlog. Saturday morning, I got my Starbucks. Uh, I do get questions what I drink. I get a venti blonde in the morning. Um, they don't have blonde all day, so if I go later, I just get regular. But I get a blonde rose with sugar-free vanilla and half and half. And it's delicious. And then I get, today, a cheese stick, because I'm hungry. <sighs> Let me tell you, I've been running and running and running lately. And I was so tired this week. I was so tired and I just kept saying, make it to Saturday morning, you can sleep in. So I went upstairs last night about eight. Got ready for bed, laid down, was playing on my phone, 8.30. I said, oh, I'm done. Turned off my phone, rolled over, went to sleep. The next thing I know, my alarm, or my, I, my diabetes Libra, which I will do a review on that. I'm on my second sensor. So I think on Sunday when I switch sensors again, I will do a little review of it. But I am, um, it was telling me I had low blood sugar. But when I looked at it, it wasn't really that low. I mean, it was under 80, yes. Um, but nothing that I would be worried about. I felt fine. So I rolled over. I went back to sleep because I didn't get out of bed till 10.30. 10.30. I never sleep till 10.30. I'm also putting on some moisturizer. A little spastic today. Pure Wonder. I love it. Bath and Body Works. I also have the hand sanitizer spray. And I need to put the lid back on it. I like this a lot. So we are going on a little scavenger hunt today. I need to go to Newark or Heath really, which is I think east of me. Um, there's an Amish store. It used to be called Azury and now I think it's Yoder's. Same store, same place. But I need to get some trail bologna and cheese for Christmas weekend because I love trail bologna and cheese. And then there is, I think, the Dollar Tree I want to go to in that town. Just hit it while I'm there. But they also have a store called Bargain Hunt. I want to go in there and I'm looking. Hopefully they have an Ollie's. But if they don't, I'll go to the Ollie's here. And I might end up at Gabriel Brothers. We'll see. Just looking for some fun, like, Christmassy treasures. I'm done Christmas shopping. And I'm pretty much done stocking shopping, but I can find some fun deals. And I'm also looking for storage stuff, so that's helpful. Oh my goodness, I don't have it with me to show you, but I will do, in my shorts today, I will show you. I'm pointing, sorry, that's rude. In my shorts today, um, the Dollar Tree came out this year with their storage stuff in like a gray, a pink, and a tealy color. I love them, they're kind of muted colors irrelevant they have they're calling wow big storage box and it's a decent size with a lid and a handle and it snaps on and it's probably that deep it's gonna be perfect for me to store craft stuff I'm gonna store pens and pencils in there and if I'm taking my planner somewhere oh my gosh I almost ordered a case of them but I didn't need 36 I only needed well six so far because that's what I bought last night I might buy some more though, we'll see. Cause I think they're perfect to store like glitter and messy crafty stuff in, paints and things. And then we'll sit nicely on a shelf. We'll see, but for right now I have six of them. All right, I've been rambling on for three minutes. Let's drink our coffee and I will show you what I buy at each store I go into. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I just came out of the Dollar Tree in Heath, Ohio on 79. I always get asked what stores I go to. I don't often come here, but I was gonna be in the area. And it's a good thing I did. I got some fun treasure that I'll show you on my haul, but I was able to find the paper straws. I'm not using them for drinking straws necessarily, uh, but these are the Buffalo Check, and then they had the red and green stripe. They also had packs of red stripe with red polka dot and green and white stripe and green straws with polka dots. But this is for my coffee bar to stir coffee, to stir your hot chocolate. I'm just gonna use them as coffee stirs. And same, 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 coffee stirs. For Christmas, we're gonna have a coffee bar set up. 
So I have, I got a fair amount of stuff. I think like 10 items, maybe 11. I don't know with tax. My stores are still a dollar. They have not gone up to $1.25 yet. But question for you. My thought was when they do go up, maybe I won't buy as much stuff, but I will take pictures or a little bit of video in the store and then walk you, talk you through what I found. If it were things I wasn't buying. If that would interest you, let me know. Still giving you my same chatty chatty, what I would do with each thing if I bought it. Um, but new year, new me, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try to do some other stores too, like Ollie's. Ollie's is a fun place and I think they're nationwide. Maybe I'll do some Ollie's hauls in the new year try to get some different stores involved. I love the Dollar Tree. I will not stop shopping there, but I thought maybe I could get some different stores involved. Let me know. But next we're headed to the store called Bargain Hunt. And I don't think this is a chain, but it could be. I have no idea. I've only been one time. So let's go. Okay. I just got out of Bargain Hunt. They are nationwide. She said they have 87 stores. Where at? I don't know, but I'll show you some quick purchases I made. Um, Epic pork rinds for $1.50. That's a very good deal. These are regularly like $5.99. What I noticed is they have a lot of Target brand stuff in there. I grabbed three of these for the dogs. They were a dollar a piece and they are pork chompers. So they're like a crunchy beef stick. So they're hard and the boys can and girls can chew on them. Luna will probably have to break it up for her because it's kind of big. But they were just a dollar. So I'll throw them in the boys stocking and then I got for six dollars 28 large compactor bag uh these are uh, commercial quality contractor bags you get 28 I use I love to use those when I'm going to start purging stuff needs to happen in my basement okay and then I picked up oh for Sarah she drinks this silk almond creamer and these are the little packets she can take with her. So there's 24 servings in each one. They are dairy free, shelf stable. These were $1.50 and best if used by, well, they were best by October, but I think they're still good. I'll have to look up the good through date. Well, I grabbed those for her for the boys Christmas stocking. I got them some Jumbo Temptations because they love these and they're bigger. Uh, oh, and then I got them for a dollar, which is good. So I think these are $2.99 at Target. Just the Fancy Feast. Wellington actually likes these, so I'll give him those. These are just, and they were a dollar. You break them apart and they're little like chewy things. And then a six pack of fitness athletic socks for me I like I don't like the no-show because they slide in my shoes so I like this link uh, what are they calling them um, I don't think they're they're not crew and they're not no-show I guess they're like an ankle length but they're you got some inches between the heel and the and they stay up so I just grabbed a pack of those were six dollars for nine pair of socks and their BB brand. Remember BB, baby, BB, baby, when that was like all the rage? If you're in my generation, you remember. Okay, so that was everything I found. They had clothes in there, they had bras. I almost bought some more bras, but I said, girl, you got enough bras. But they had like the Delta Burke silky pullover. Oh, they had some fun bras, but chill down, girl, chill down with the bras. So I'm good. Now we're gonna go to Yoder's because there is not an Ollie's in this area. So I'm gonna go to Yoder's and get my trail bologna and cheese. And then maybe we'll hit Ollie's. Okay, I'm out of Yoder's. And I got this whole container of double acting baking powder, aluminum free for $1.01. $1 .01. Um, so I have a jar at home that already has my baking powder in it. I'll just refill it because I was running low. They have a lot, they have bulk stuff. Not as much as in Amish country, but they have a fair amount. And then I grab these for lunch. I always get this and it is trail bologna and Swiss cheese. 
and crackers, but I just don't eat the crackers. But trail and Swiss is a favorite combo for me. Um, and then I just got two of these rings of trail bologna. Um, if you're not in Ohio, I don't know how to explain this other than it's like bologna. A little more seasoned and there's a skin, you pull it off and you slice it up and eat it however you like. Sometimes it's really good fried on a sandwich. But I grabbed two. Um, these are $6.99 per pound for these, but they last a really long time. Like this is good till March of 2022. So I like to grab more than one because I don't get, oops, I lost my lunch. Lunch overboard. I got it, please don't worry, I'm starving. I have not had breakfast, so. This will be my lunch. I think I will not go to Ollie's today. I think what I will do is head home and see what I can get into cleaning wise because my house is kind of a disaster since I've been working at my second job a lot. My house is a little bit of a disaster and this is how I eat trail and cheese. Mm. Growing up, trail and cheese was eaten on Ritz cracker, a piece of cheese and meat and some mustard and a bread and butter pickle. That was amazing. Right now, I just eat it like this. And on Christmas, I have my keto crackers. Mm, maybe we should go to Trader Joe's. Mm, maybe we'll go through in the week when it won't be so busy. Better plan. All right. So that's everything I got driving to Heath for. And it's like a 25 minute drive, not terrible. There is a Dollar General here, but I don't feel like I need anything else. So let's go home. Hi guys, we're back from all my bargain hunting and I'm doing some baking. Now it is Sunday, so what I'm gonna do is some baking and then put it in the freezer for Christmas so I don't get myself in a pickle come Wednesday because we're leaving, you know, for our Christmas. So I just wanna have everything done. So what I am making, or I guess I should just tell you, our family is doing Instead of a big meal, we're gonna do like appetizers. So I'm gonna make a charcuterie board for Friday and then we're gonna have some appetizers. I also got a cup, not a bargain hunt. So what I made, I took my keto recipe for bread. I can't share this specific recipe. Hi buddy, cause it's not mine. I bought it, um, but this is going to make See, um, I hear you, buddy. I'm gonna make, if you ever seen on, I hear you, on Pinterest where they take the King Hawaiians rolls and cut them and put ham and cheese and all kinds of stuff and put a top on it and bake it. That's what I'm gonna make with this. It's cooling right now. I'll get it out. I will probably cut it into fours evenly. Top bread, bottom bread, and then I'll stuff it and bake it. So there's that. This is the same recipe, but I put some olive oil on top. I haven't baked this yet. And some herbs and seasonings on it. And I do want to put a little garlicky salt, just a little bit. Um, to make like a focaccia bread. And maybe I'll eat this this week. So this is going to be much thicker. And maybe I'll make some soup. Same recipe, I'm just treating them differently. I'll put that in the oven. And then for a dessert for myself, I bought this package at Costco and it came with three mixes. And we're just gonna add four brownies, two eggs, a quarter of a cup of milk, and a half a cup of butter melted in here. So I need a half a cup of butter, which is a stick of butter, a quarter of a cup of milk, and two eggs, and add it to this. And then I bought Lily's baking chocolate chips and these are um, mint flavored. So I thought I would do like a chocolatey peppermint brownie bite to have. And again, I'm making individual portions of this. Nobody in my family will eat it with me because they're all not fun people when it comes to eating keto with me. And that's fine. So what I will do, and since this needs to be actually melted, here, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Ah, get you down. I will get my knife out 
And this just came right out of the refrigerator. And I like to just cut it up. I think it melts easier. You could do it in a pan. You can do it in your microwave. This is about the one thing I do in my microwave is melt butter. It's a sad day in my house. All right, and what I do is 10 second bursts, and then I let it sit, or 10, 15. Let it sit for a bit. I My oven is not ready, but I do want to crack the eggs so they can come up to room temperature. It is always best to bake at room temperature, just so you know. But, you know, we're gonna roll with this. So it needs two eggs and a quarter of a cup of milk. I don't have milk, but I have half and half. So we'll do half and half, right? So all that's gonna happen is I'm gonna mix it, I'll portion it out, and then I will show you what all this stuff looks like when I take it out of the oven and get it ready to go into the freezer. All right, it's all done. Here we have the setups to make two decent sized sandwiches for me, the baking kind, and then I'll cut them up. And these are just for me. So I have, I'm gonna put those in the freezer. A very large batch of brownie bites. Also will go in the freezer. Pro tip, freeze them before you try to remove them from the uh, silicone. And then these are just some crackers of leftover dough from this. And I just cubed them up, put them in the oven with some olive oil and a little seasoning. So that'll be a snack for tonight or today and tomorrow. Freezer, freezer for Christmas. And that's it for right now or for today at least. Then we'll figure out more prep later. I need to make some mushrooms. I think I wanna make stuffed mushrooms. So we'll see, that'll be on the next vlog. So I hope you have a good night, everybody. Talk to you later.